Today I'd like to take you on a tour of WebPlus X7 and point out some key areas of the workspace along the way. First of all, you'll see your website is displayed in the centre of the workspace. At the top of the menus and the standard toolbar, here you can quickly access commonly used functions such as Open, Save, Site Structure, Preview and Publish. Below the standard toolbar is the context toolbar. The context toolbar and its buttons change depending on the tool that is selected. At the moment, I haven't got a particular tool selected, so it's the default context toolbar that is displayed. From here, you can access Site Manager, Colour Scheme Designer and User Details. We'll look into the contacts toolbar in a little more detail later. On the left are the Basic, Drawing and Properties toolbars. I'll just select an object on my page so we can see the tools more clearly. From the Basic toolbar, you can add assets, text frames and pictures to your site. The Drawing toolbar in the middle offers a range of line drawing tools, transparency tools and cropping. Try clicking on the down arrow next to a tool to see all of the tools inside it. Finally, the Properties toolbar is perfect for adding IDs and anchors, hyperlinks and actions to objects on your site. Next to these toolbars are a range of tabs including text styles, fonts, quick build and assets. From the Assets tab, you can quickly access content such as page layouts, pictures and graphics to add to your website. You can also store your custom assets in the My Designs category for use in future projects. The Quick Build tab lets you add content to your site from a variety of categories including layout items, navigation items, social media and forms. Simply select the content you want to add and drag it onto your page. You can then customise and edit the object as required. If you can't see the tabs at first, click the small arrow next to them. You can use these arrows to expand or collapse tabs at any time. You can also collapse or expand tab groups by clicking on the arrow next to them, and then choosing Minimise or Restore respectively from the drop-down list. On the right are the three main tab groups. These groups include the colour, swatches, transparency and line tabs at the top, the site, objects and style tabs in the middle and the transform, align and character tabs at the bottom. The site tab is really useful for quickly navigating to different pages in your site. Double click on a page's name to view it in the workspace. You can view, add and delete pages and master pages from here too. It's easy to change the order in which tabs are displayed. Simply click on the tab you want to move and then drag it into its new location. WordPress has several default workspaces which you can choose from. On the default context toolbar, click on the down arrow next to workspace and select a different option from the list. You can reset your workspace and return to the original layout at any time by clicking Tabs from the View menu and clicking Default Workspace. At the bottom of the workspace is the Hint Line toolbar. The Hint Line displays some really useful hints and tips and shows you what page you're working on. To the right of the Hint Line are some zoom tools which you can use to zoom in or out of your page. Earlier in this video, I briefly mentioned the context toolbar, which changes dynamically depending on what is selected on your page. Let's look at this a little closer. First, I'll select an object in my website. Today, I'll select a button. As you can see, the options on the context toolbar have changed to display a number of different options dedicated to editing buttons. These include WebPlus's Button Studio which places a range of editing options at your fingertips. See the studio's how-to for more information. If I select a picture on my site, you can see the context toolbar displays several options for picture editing. These include Photolab and Cutout Studio, 
which are dedicated studio environments where you can quickly fix, enhance or even cut out your photos. There is also an option to edit in PhotoPlus. If you have PhotoPlus installed, click here to launch it. PhotoPlus is Surrey's award-winning photo editing software. Any changes that you make to your picture will automatically be applied in WebPlus when you click Save. Well, that concludes our tour. To find out more about WebPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.